begin with a little exercise. I invite you to join me in please closing your eyes and painting in your minds an image. Imagine that you are living your best life. You are your ideal self. All your dreams have come true. In this life, you are the superhero of your own personal story. Ah, what a nice thought. But, and as we open our eyes again, we see that we are not that version of ourselves. We are not our ideal self. In his self-concept theory, Carl Rogers differentiated between the self-image, or how we see ourselves now, and the ideal self, or who we hopefully want to become in the future. And he explained that a mismatch between the two could lead to what he called incongruence, where there's a low degree of overlap between our perceived self and our ideal self. Now, personally, it has been a real struggle to establish congruency in my life, as I always felt like I could become someone greater than I am now. And when this reality hits, it hits hard. I begin questioning all the choices that I have made, all the decisions, all the goals that I have set to myself, even down to the kind of person that I have set for myself to become. Now, this is one difficult place to be in, but let us think about solving this problem. The first step in establishing congruency would be to ask ourselves who we are as people. Because people are a collection of ideas, it then becomes logical to think of ourselves as the same. And it is these ideas that we should be devoting our time reflecting about. Just like favorite dishes and songs, we pick up, consciously or unconsciously, on practices and beliefs from society around us. Sources include tradition, social norms, and even pop culture. We begin taking these initially external and foreign ideas and assimilating them into our own person until they all blend together into what we begin calling our personality. Now, taken at face value, I do not think that there is anything wrong with that. Tradition helps us navigate the complex social world that we live in, while picking up on ideas from pop culture helps us remain relevant and interesting amongst our friends and peers. The necessary reflection part comes up when these picked up practices and beliefs begin to influence the way we deal with people and interact in society, which is inevitable. We need to know whether we believe in the things that we believe in for our own sake or for the sake of adopting the beliefs of others. I will call the ideas that we hold true in the depths of our hearts the natural beliefs and those that we acquire from the outside and blindly defend the artificial beliefs. This leaves us with a realization. We are cyborgs built of pieces both natural to our being and pieces that are not. This painful process of reflection has led us to a seemingly grim conclusion. We are not who we thought we were. We may have spent years working towards goals that now, in hindsight, only became goals because someone else dictated them upon us. Our ideal self shatters, and with it, our self-image. Where should we go now, carrying the shards of the self that we once considered the only true thing? I think, therefore, I am, said the French philosopher René Descartes. Maybe, maybe we do not even exist if all our thoughts are external and are not really ours. But there is hope. We are not wholly artificial. There is a natural essence within all of us. What we will do now, therefore, is focus on those natural qualities and core beliefs. We will take from tradition, from politics, and from society as a whole only those ideas that complement who we really are and who we really want to become. Even if our goals in life change and with them our ideal self, we need not worry. Change is the current that moves the ocean of life, and swimming against it is impossible. What following our natural self will do, however, is provide us with a ship upon which we can sail the turbulent waves of existence. This is a process and a lifelong journey. It is important to note here that natural does not necessarily mean good and that artificial does not necessarily mean bad. There will be things to add to our personality and things to remove. Just knowing who we are at our core is no excuse for seizing growth. 
But hmm, because good and bad are not always clear, one might raise the question of how should we know which ideas to integrate into ourselves and which to not? Well, it is through arguments and discussions with others that we find the answer. We have all come across people that talk in one direction but act in another. We might even be these people. At the core, such actions indicate a mismatch within the person. Mismatch that is certain to lead to anxiety, stress, and frustration. But taking our knowledge of natural versus artificial, we can strive to correct that by engaging in meaningful arguments with those around us. What differentiates the aforementioned natural beliefs from the artificial beliefs is not that we are somehow born with one but not the other. No, all our beliefs are learned and we acquire them from those around us. Natural beliefs, then, are special in that they stand even when being argued against. Our goal in these arguments should not be to win and to somehow prove the other wrong, but rather to understand and to be understood. By honestly relaying our ideas to others and having others relay theirs, we can both bring into question our own beliefs and the beliefs of others, helping ourselves and everyone else along the way. Our actions will become in line with our ideas and we will become capable of defending our beliefs, a prospect more empowering and liberating I cannot think of. This is a never-ending cycle and a responsibility to our present self and our future self that we hereby undertake, a path to the final truth. That's it, really. A simple yet elegant framework to harmony and success. This is how one lives in unity with oneself free to carve out the being that one is. And if the goal is congruence and continuous development, then the path is now clear. And as Carl Rogers said, the curious paradox is that when I accept myself just as I am, then I can change. Thank you.